welcome to primary four science week three lesson five. My name is Mayen Ronald. I want to take you through integrated science for primary four lesson five. Last time we were looking at body organs and we looked at different body organs where we had the brain and we talked about the brain that the brain is found in the head protected by the skull. We looked at the importance of the brain where we say that the brain is used for thinking, the brain is used for remembering, the brain is used to store information and many other functions. Today friends, we are going to look at other body organs which is the lungs, which is the lungs. We know that the lungs are body organs which are found in the chest cavity. What we mean? We are saying that the lungs are found in the chest. This is our chest. So inside the chest we get the lungs. These lungs are protected by the rib cage. This is our rib cage. When you touch this part here, you find this bone here, what we call the rib cage. So the rib cage protects the lungs. So on our top body here, we have our lungs. The diagram of the lungs. The lungs look like this. So the, the human being has a pair of lungs, meaning he has two lungs. One we have the left lung and the right lung. Then when you look at our lung, we have this part here called the trunk air, called the trunk air. So this part is the trunk air. Then from the trunk air, we have these branches here that end up in the air sacs. This one we call the air sacs. Then we have this one is what we call the bronchi, but we shall get the, the details of this one in primary 6. For us as primary 4, we just look at the organ which is the lung. Now, let's look at the uses of the lungs. The lungs are very important in our bodies. One, the lungs are used for breathing or gaseous exchange. For you to be able to breathe, to take in oxygen and bring out carbon dioxide or bring in air and bring out that air, we need the lungs. So that's what we call breathing or gaseous exchange. The lungs are also used to provide oxygen in the body. Our body requires oxygen for it to carry out the process called the transpiration. So without the lungs to supply that oxygen, the body cannot carry out the transpiration. Are you together? So the lungs are used to provide oxygen for respiration. Then, last the lungs removes carbon dioxide and excess water vapor from the body. Remember that when we are breathing in, the air which we are breathing in contains oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen and rare gas. When the oxygen reaches the body, it is used by the process called respiration to get our energy. Then there are some byproducts produced like carbon dioxide. That carbon dioxide is carried from the respiring cells to the lungs to be removed out. So the lungs helps to take out that, remove that poisonous gas called the carbon dioxide from our body. Now, we have some of the diseases that affect the lungs. Which are some of the diseases that can affect our lungs? One, we have what we call it tuberculosis. We call it tuberculosis. Then two, we have what we call diphtheria. We call it diphtheria. Then we also have another disease called whooping cough. Whooping cough. And another name for whooping cough is what we call pertussis. What we call pertussis. Then there's another disease called pneumonia. Called the pneumonia. Then we have another disease called influenza or flu. Everybody knows about the flu. Every, almost every person has ever suffered about flu. So that flu and then is called the influenza. Then there's another disease called bronchitis. Called bronchitis. So that also affects the lungs. We have lung cancer. Lung cancer. That one is caused by smoking. 
when you smoke tobacco or cigarette, you are most likely to get the lung cancer, you are most likely to get the bronchitis, you are most likely to get the, and that is called emphysema, called emphysema. Then we have the last one called the asthma. We have had the people who are suffering from asthma. They are so allergic to different conditions of the environment. So, asthma is one of the diseases that affect the lungs and is a hereditary disease. What does it mean when we talk about hereditary disease? It can spread from the can, can be passed on from their parents to their children. If your parent had asthma, you can also get asthma. If your grandparents had asthma, you can also get asthma. So this one is a hereditary disease that affects the lungs. Friends, let's look at how can you how how best can you care for your lungs? One is by avoiding smoking. We have seen that smoking brings about lung cancer, bronchitis, eczema. So, you are supposed to avoid smoking. Your lungs will work properly. Then, avoid dusty places. Dusty places increases the effect of flu or influenza. If you have flu, you don't need to go in dusty places. Then, also, avoid overcrowded places. A place which is having very many people and the, the space is small, avoid to go in such places because when you overcrowd it, you will begin to suffocating. Do regular physical exercise. Physical exercise is very important and very helpful for our bodies. Without physical exercise, some of our body organs may not function well. So we are supposed to do more physical exercise on a regular basis to ensure that your lungs can be able to cut out its function properly. Then, take infants for immunization. When we talk about infants, we are meaning children below 5 years. We are supposed to take them for immunization. To avoid these other diseases like tuberculosis, diphtheria, and pink cough. So, when we take them for immunization, you are immunizing the children against those diseases that they can kill them at early age. So, once you immunize them, they may not suffer from these diseases of tuberculosis, diphtheria, and the whooping cough. So, this has been our lesson, and we see that the, after here, we have the notes there. Go through those notes, write them in your books, classwork books, those notes. Write the activity, answer the activity, then you bring the book to school for marking if you are near. But if you are not near the school, you can take the photo and send on the WhatsApp numbers given to you for marking. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much.